Good afternoon, Matthews and Filmmakers. Today is Friday, July 20th, 2012, and today we're going to talk about Star Kid. Now, last Monday, Leaky Khan and Star Kid announced that they would be performing a Very Potter 3D, a Very Potter senior year, this year at Leaky Khan 2012. Now, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be doing a staged reading of the play, and what they're asking the Leaky Khan community, the Harry Potter community, the Star Kid community, is to submit ideas for set designs, for character costume designs, and for songs. Now what I'm going to talk about today is the songs, because Susan and I thought we might write one. Susan has already displayed that she has really, really awesome skills when it comes to creating lyrics for a song, and I have done no such thing, but I am still equally interested. And for the song entries that we could do, they're asking for either one of two songs, Get In My Mouth, or The Wizard Duel. Get In My Mouth is described as a song in which a giant monster is trying to eat our heroes by convincing them to get in his mouth, solo for a giant monster with backup vocals parts for his many children. It's gonna be Aragog. The Wizard Duel is described as a song in which Harry wizard duels Malfoy. This is a duet between Harry and Malfoy. They hate each other and shoot each other with spells. Make sure the spells are funny. And what they said about the song writing, they said, don't think about writing Harry Potter songs so much as songs with characters conveying an emotion. But if you really want to, you can have references to Harry Potter language in it to illustrate the points. Now, what I got out of that is that they're not looking for Gotta Get Back to Hogwarts. They're looking for something more like Coolest Girl, which has references to, you know, frumpy clothing and that kind of thing. But it's also something that can stand by itself. Like I said, Susan and I have been texting and we thought that we might write a song. And I've been writing ideas in this fun little notebook. What I've gotten so far is a couple of things. I'm very interested in writing for the wizard duel as, you know, Draco and Harry are dueling, but I want Harry to be the jerk. And I think it's going to be the Half-Blood Prince bathroom duel and the entire time Half-Blood Prince I kind of thought that Harry was being a bit of a jerk. And Draco, we know his backstory, we know that he has to do it, we know that his family is pressuring him. I think it'd be interesting to have Malfoy kind of be the reluctant, not necessarily a hero, but kind of like an anti-hero. And for Harry to kind of be the bully, I think it'd be more interesting to have a Malfoy sympathetic song than to have a Harry is fighting the bad guy song. So I've written a couple of lyrics for Malfoy so far and they're not especially good but I'm going to read them to you anyway and they're very like bulleted they have no things to go with them. Now the first one that I've written is can you blame me when the whole world knows his name? That one I kind of wrote because Draco sees Harry as the chosen one. He's also recognizing that the whole world is always going to see Harry as being in the right. No matter what anybody else does it's always about what Harry's done. And the second thing I wrote is can't you see I'm fighting more than you here? He's fighting what his parents want him to do, he's fighting what society wants him to do, and he's fighting Harry because Harry kind of stands for everything Draco could have been and Draco while he grew up with privilege, while he grew up with both of his parents, while he grew up with kind of lackeys in Crab and Goyle, he still doesn't have anything like what Harry has. And the last thing that I've written so far that I'm willing to share. Every day they say is a new day, all the nights I feel so cold. How am I supposed to deal with having poison in my soul? And that kind of references that Draco grew up in a wizarding environment that wasn't exactly the most positive. I think he might know in the back of his mind deep down that what his parents are doing and what the Death Eaters are doing and what his society kind of promotes is not right. I haven't written anything for Harry yet because the Harry that I'm writing I kind of want to be really hateable. So I thought I'd just mention a couple of my ideas. I'm also really really excited that they are involving fans in making a fan piece. So for the film majors, I'm Caitlin. For the Mathlete Susan will be here on Monday and for anybody else we're glad you hung out with us today and I hope I didn't scar you for life with my terrible lyricism. See ya!